This is Dabu7. And after some time of what they said is officially downtime for the HARP facility, they're saying some three years, we've talked about this exchanging hands time and time again, the talk of this facility being shut down and then proof being shown that it was still operational, and then them all across the board saying, look, it's done, we're doing away with this, then we come to find out it's not, it changes hands once again, and they always want to come out when they fire this thing up and make a statement that they're trying to test for this or that in the atmosphere. This time they're saying the effects of satellites when they're not even going to be out in space. They're hitting the upper ionosphere here on the planet below where satellites are. Now, what they're planning to do, for those that don't know, this 30-acre field has 180 silver poles that spout up from the ground that reach 22 meters into the air. Now, they're saying during four nights this week, this whole system is going to spring to life after three years of dormancy. Now, I'm here to tell you we need to be watching the weather, the weather feeds, the uh, satellite feeds, and everything else for waveforms for signatures of this happening and i'm going to be watching this closely if we catch anything out there uh, i will make sure to share it with you guys but this harp facility has been known in the past uh, for the talk of its connection with weather control uh, earthquakes the whole nine well what they're doing here is they're going to use 2.1 megawatts of radio energy and they're going to launch this into the ionosphere now, that's the region that starts at 100 kilometers above the ground. They're saying this is where solar protons and charged particles crash into the Earth's atmosphere. They're saying that the radio signals will excite electrons and turn them into a wave of relatively hot ionized gas or plasma in this slice of sky up in the atmosphere. And they're saying the hope is to better understand how the activity hampers satellites. Many others say that that is just BS and that anytime you target anything with massive amounts of heat in the atmosphere, it's going to change the weather pattern. This holds true that if you had a tornado or a hurricane spinning up, heading somewhere, and you were to hit the eye of that system with a burst of energy and heat, you would literally fuel this thing. To, to crazy magnitudes, making it like on steroids, giving it extra energy, breathing life into it. And it's very possible, especially with the cloud seeding and everything else we witnessed out here. When you know these things, you ask, why are they not doing things for the better? That is the evil world we are on, unfortunately, right now, guys. But all I can say is this. They've got this thing up in the open, operational, saying that the next few days or four days out of this week, this thing's going to be launching these waves into the ionosphere. This is something to pay attention to. We ought to be on the lookout for quakes and strange weather activity across the globe here this week. So this is a heads up. In regards to this, I will continue to update. I'll leave a link in the description box. Make sure to tune in tonight. End of the Stars channel for Underground World News Live. See you guys there.